TV8, WXVX. ...of TV8 Live Eyewitness News for the heart of Virginia. Good morning, I'm Randy Davis. Pam Prouty has the week off. 52 degrees under clear skies outside this morning. Look for a high today in the low 70s. We'll have the complete forecast following the news. TV8 WXVX. From Richmond and the heart of Virginia, this is TV8 Live Eyewitness News with Jim Bailey and Janet Peckinpah, TV8 meteorologist Craig Weber, and on sports, Ken Strayhorn. Good evening. There's a lot of news tonight, but before we get on with that, let's talk to Ken Strayhorn with some real exciting news. This is TV8 Live Eyewitness News with Barbara Berlin, Loretta Johnson on weather, and on sports, Lou Charlotte. Good evening. Fans react to a possible football strike. I'm Teresa Lewis. We'll have that story coming up. Coming up, now that Paul Tribble isn't running for the Senate, what is his next political step? Tensions heat up tonight in the Persian Gulf as a U.S. helicopter attacks an Iranian tanker. And a new battle is being waged against polio. We'll tell you about it in Eye on Health. And even though the NFL is going on strike, there's a football team in Texas that's getting a little lift from the girls. Good evening or good morning. Mm -hmm. I'm Paula Alexander. And I'm Mark Alexander. Our late, late edition of Eyewitness News is coming up. From WXCX TV8, Virginia's news channel, this is Eyewitness News Nightcast. So as of uh, midnight tonight, the players in the National Football League will be on strike once again. And so it's official. The strike is on. It sure is. It's not a good situation for anybody. From WXEX TV8, this is Eyewitness News with Lisa Schaffner, Steve Bucci on sports, and weather with Kyle Osborne. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. Our top story. From WXEX TV 8, this is Eyewitness News with Kevin McGraw, Carol Meekins, meteorologist John Bernier, and Chip Tarkenton on sports. Good evening. Kevin has the night off. You may be better off dialing direct tonight. This is Eyewitness News 11 at 11 with Kevin McGraw. Carol Meekins, John Bernier's 24-hour forecast, and Chip Tarkenton on sports. Now, 11 at 11. Good evening, our top story tonight. From WRIC TV8 in Richmond, this is TV8 Eyewitness News at 6. Well, it is illegal today for anyone under the age of 18 to buy cigarettes here in the Commonwealth. From WRIC TV8 in Richmond, this is 11 at 11 with Jackie McLean and Steve Bucci with sports. Good evening. Jackie has the evening off. I'm Dave Miller, and thank you for staying with us for 11 at 11. This is WRIC TV 8 News at noon with Dave Tiller and Tracy Butler. This is WRIC TV 8 News at 6 with Lisa Schaffner, Steve Coleman, Chip Tarkenton, and John Bernier. A Supreme Court ruling strikes a heavy blow to the tobacco industry, and the case involves Philip Morris. WRIC TV 8 News at 11 with Lisa Schaffner, Steve Coleman, Chip Tarkenton, and John Bernier. From Richmond, this is WRIC, TV 8 News at 6. From Richmond's news people, 8 News, this is Good Morning Richmond. From Richmond's news people, this is 8 News at noon. From Richmond's news people, this is 8 News at 6. Straight ahead, cigarette manufacturers are under attack for appealing to underage smokers. We'll tell you what Philip Morris is doing to fix that. Richmond's news people. This is 8 News tonight. A man accused in the nation's deadliest bombing has his first day in court. But his lawyers say they can't represent him. Good evening, I'm Rick Young. And I'm Lisa Schaumper. Thanks for...
from the studios of WRIC-TV, welcome to This Week in Richmond. Virginians have four months to decide who will lead the Commonwealth into the 21st century, with both Democrat Don Beyer and Republican Jim Gilmore running hard to claim the state's top political prize. Today, a discussion about the race and other hot political topics with two veteran Capitol correspondents on This Week in Richmond. Good afternoon, and thanks for spending part of your Sunday afternoon with us. I'm Richard Rial, sitting in for Lisa Schaffner, who's on maternity leave. With more local news from your community, you're watching 8 News. Richmond's news people, 8 News, welcome to This Week in Richmond. With little more than four weeks left in the race for governor, which candidate is ahead and why? Republican Jim Gilmore continues to ride his promise to eliminate personal property taxes, while Democrat Don Beyer is crossing the state touting education and the environment as the keys to Virginia in the next century. Today, a reporter's roundtable on the 97 vote on This Week in Richmond. Now, here's your host, Lisa Schaffner. Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for joining us on this Sunday afternoon. From your local news source, this is Good Morning Richmond. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us here on this Tuesday morning. It is the 25th day of March, 2003. I am Gwen Williams. And I'm John Reed. From your local news source, this is 8 News Now. A child walking along the Petersburg Street right here is hit by gunfire tonight. Police are looking for the gunman. Good evening, everyone. I'm Lisa Schaffner. Juan is off tonight. As millions gather across the country to bring in the new year, security officials are working hard to keep terrorists at bay. And an area family struggles to find their missing five-year-old. Live, local, late-breaking, plus Doppler 8 weather. This is 8 News at 6. Good evening and Happy New Year. We'll have that story in a moment, but first, a check on the forecast. Good morning, Richmond. Starts now. Good morning, and thank you for starting this Wednesday with us here on Good Morning Richmond. I am Gwen Williams. I'm Chip Darkin, and the alarm's probably going off. It is straight up 6 right, o'clock. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, on the dot. A live look at the tomb of the unknowns in Arlington National Cemetery as Memorial Day events get underway there. And here in Metro Richmond as well. Our coverage continues right now. Good afternoon, everyone. It's Monday, May 28th, Memorial Day. I'm Anita Blanton, in for Amy Lacey, and we're monitoring several Memorial Day events happening today here in Richmond. 8 News at 5 starts now. Welcome to the 5 o'clock show. Developing right now, the search is on for a man who is wanted for shooting three people in Petersburg last night. A police-involved shooting leaves a 14-year-old boy dead and a family searching for answers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Joanna Massey. Emporia police have put the officer who fired this weapon in the fatal shooting on administrative leave. Her Majesty the Queen spends the day celebrating with Richmond. Good evening. The Queen arrived here in Richmond at 3 this afternoon and headed straight to the governor's mansion. She did a walkabout, spoke before the General Assembly, and later sat down with Virginia Tech shooting survivors. Welcome to our 8 News Extra on the American Cancer Society's Relay for Life. Relay for Life represents the hope that those lost to cancer will never be forgotten. 8 News at 11 starts now. Welcome to 8 News at 11. We have breaking news tonight. A nine-year-old autistic boy is missing in Hanover after running off here at North Anna Battlefield Park. Our 8 News reporter Dara Copley is live in Hanover with the latest on the search. Richmond's only station to win the Edward R. Murrow Award for overall excellence in news. We're convinced there's a, a large number that aren't telling the truth. You're watching 8 News on WRIC. 546 now. Some special four-legged friends have just made the long journey from New Orleans to Richmond overnight. 
Good Morning Richmond starts now. All right, thanks for joining us for Good Morning Richmond. Have a little fun during the commercial break there. I'm Morgan Dew. And I'm Darielle Snipes in for Amanda Malkowski. We'll get to your headlines in the news we live in just a bit. But first, we want to head over to Matt with your storm tracker weather first. 8 News at 9 a.m. starts now. 9 o'clock on the dot in case you're watching the clock. Thanks for joining us for 8 News at 9. We're glad to see you. 8 News at Noon starts now. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us for 8 News at Noon. I'm Carrie O'Brien. 8 News at 5 starts now. Thanks for joining us right now at 5. We begin with breaking news from Stafford. A mother tied up while men hold her son at gunpoint. At 8 News at 5.30 starts now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Amy Lacey. And I'm Juan Condi. We, of course, want to take a look outside at those storms rolling through the area. 8 News at 6 starts now. A controversial promotion puts the Richmond Flying Squirrels in the national spotlight. We're live at the game. Everybody was like shocked and then, then we just, like everybody was like, hooray. You'd be shocked too if you saw a woman give birth in a subway station. We've got the crazy story from DC. Plus, a heartwarming tale from Petersburg, where this disabled veteran and his family finally have a place they can call home. Eight News at 11 starts now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Juan Condi. I'm Christina Ferrick. The Richmond Flying Squirrels are being talked about all across the country tonight. Today's top stories and your weather forecast in the first eight minutes. Now on 8 News at 11. We begin tonight with several breaking stories. The search for a 16-year-old and his 5-year-old cousin in Richmond. Live from the opening ceremonies of Richmond 2015. You're watching 8 News on the Move. Coverage sponsored by VCU Health. Good evening and thanks for joining us. 8 News is on the move tonight on Browns Island. You're looking at a live picture of our location this evening. The UCI Road World Championships opening ceremonies begin in just about an hour. Good morning, Richmond starts now. It is six o'clock on your Wednesday morning. Happy hump day, everybody. Mm -hmm. Mid to the middle of the week. Thanks for joining us for Good Morning Richmond. I'm Morgan D. And I'm Amanda Malkowski. And I'm Whitney Harris. We'll get to your headlines and news where you live in just a moment. Eight News at Noon starts now. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us for Eight News at Noon. I'm Carrie O'Brien. Eight News at Five starts now. Well, do you hear it outside? We begin with the weather where you live. Storms moving through our area. Eight News at 530 starts now. Thanks for joining us. We begin, of course, with the weather where you live. Not a nice start to the evening for you. Tonight at 6, state preparing for the arrival of Hurricane Matthew. We'll tell you what you need to do to prepare here at home. And a woman in Petersburg with unpaid utility bills. How it could affect her in her run for city council. Plus, a 21-year-old woman missing in Richmond. Her mother talks to 8 News. 8 News at 6 starts now. Everything in my house is wet. I've lost everything. The water took it. I won't have a chance to get it back. Today's top stories and your weather forecast in the first eight minutes. Now on 8 News at 11. Independence Day celebrations lighting up the sky across central Virginia tonight. You're looking at fireworks from Dogwood Dell in Richmond. Always a very big celebration down there. Now this is the view thousands were treated to on the National Mall. A light drizzle was falling when the fireworks began around 9 and clouds did interfere a little, but for the most part you can see the display still putting a sparkle over the Capitol. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matthew McClellan. You're watching 8 News, news where you live. All right, hello everyone, and it is Memorial Day Monday. We want to thank all those who have served our country, but always remember those who have given the ultimate sacrifice, and we uh, thank their families uh, as well. Good Morning Richmond starts now. Thanks for joining us for Good Morning Richmond. I'm Evan Armour. We'll get to your top stories in just a moment. Good Morning Richmond starts now. 
Good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday, July 4th, Independence Day. Happy 4th of July. Good morning, Richmond starts now. Good morning, Richmond. Six o'clock on this Monday, Memorial Day. Thank you so much for waking up with us. I'm John Rogers. Delaney Hall has the day off. 8 News starts now with your Storm Tracker 8 forecast first. Happy Friday. I'm Storm Tracker 8 meteorologist Michelle Morgan. 8 News starts now with your Storm Tracker 8 forecast first. Hello, everyone. I'm Storm Tracker 8 meteorologist Matt Denardo with your forecast first. You're watching 8 News, news where you live. Happy Friday. Thanks for joining us for 8 News at 9. I'm Kristen Smith. And I'm Amy Simpson. We'll get to your headlines and news where you live coming right up. But we always start with your weather first. You're watching 8 News, news where you live. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for 8 News at Noon. I'm John Rogers. 8 News at Noon starts now. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for 8 News at Noon. I'm John Rogers. 8 News starts now. Thanks for joining us. We begin with breaking news. 8 News starts now. Thanks for joining us on this Thanksgiving. Regional Edward R. Murrow Award winners for breaking news and overall excellence. 8 News starts now. Well, it's getting dark out there on this Thanksgiving evening. You're watching 8 News. News where you live. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Juan Condi. Constance has the night off. You're watching 8 News. News where you live. The search continues for two women who went over Bocher's Dam in Richmond yesterday. 8 News at 6 starts now. Another a hot, humid day in Richmond. A live look now over the James River. We thank you for joining us on this Tuesday. I'm Christina Ferrick. I'm Juan Condi. We begin tonight with your Storm Tracker 8 forecast. 8 News at 6 starts now. Good evening, and thank you for joining us for 8 News at 6 tonight. 8 News at 6 starts now. A trip down the river takes a terrifying turn. A group of 12 going over Bossier's Dam, dropping down into the churning water. Our drone capturing aerial footage of their floats and paddle boards caught at the bottom. 8 News starts now with your Storm Tracker 8 forecast first. Well, of course, thanks for joining us after the game. 8 News starts now with your Storm Tracker 8 forecast first. Hello, friends. Storm Tracker 8 Chief Meteorologist John Bernier. Another toasty day headed your way tomorrow. Today's top stories in the weather where you live in the first eight minutes. Eight news starts now. Good evening, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Today's top stories in your Storm Tracker 8 weather in the first eight minutes. Eight news starts now. Good evening and welcome to Eight News at 11. I'm Gretchen Ross. Thank you for joining us. Now on 8 News at 11, the search continues for two women after a group of people went over a dangerous dam in the James River. Tonight, new details on the hazard this dam poses. How difficult is it to swim out of these things? It's near impossible. Where things go from here as crews prepare for a third day of surging. A four-year-old struggling to stay above water for more than three minutes when a neighbor comes to the rescue. How this good Samaritan knew when to jump into action to save a young life. Today's top stories and your Storm Tracker 8 weather in the first eight minutes. 8 News starts now. The search for two missing women in the James River pauses for another night, set to resume in the morning. Sarah Irway and Lauren Winstead have not been seen since yesterday afternoon. They went over Bocher's Dam along with 10 other people. You're watching 8 News at 11. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. Tonight, questions remain about whether this group should have been allowed in the water when it was at such a dangerously high level. 8 News starts now. 8 News is your local election headquarters. I'm Juan Condi. I'm Christina Farrick. The big story tonight, Democrat Ralph Northam is Virginia's next governor. Regional Edward R. Murrow Award winners for breaking news and overall excellence. 8 News starts now. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Constance Jones. Juan Condi has the night off. Regional Murrow Award winner for continuing coverage. You're watching 8 News. Good evening and thank you for joining us for 8 News at 11. 
Eight News starts now with breaking news. Well, tonight, a person is fighting for their life after a shooting in the city of Richmond. Eight News starts now with breaking news. Just into the newsroom, Richmond fire crews are working to rescue a group of people who went over a dam this afternoon. Now, your 8 News update. Hey, good Friday morning, everyone. I'm meteorologist Emily Kay. I'm filling in for Matt DiNardo this morning. Live with the news where you live. Good Morning Richmond starts now. Good morning, Richmond. Just shy of 5.30 on this Friday morning. Thanks for starting your morning with us. I'm Delaney Hall. John Rogers has the morning off. Live with the news where you live. 8 News starts now. Good morning, Richmond. Thanks for joining us for 8 News at 9 on this Friday morning. Live with the news where you live. 8 News starts now. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for 8 News at Noon. I'm John Rogers. Live with the news where you live. 8 News starts now. Thanks for joining us for 8 News at 5. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. We've seen some rainy weather moving in over us here in Central Virginia. Live with the news where you live. 8 News starts now. Thanks for joining us for 8 News at 530. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albritton. We have had storms rolling through Central Virginia all day. You and I were both trying to run in to not get caught in the rain on That's our way right. in today. Absolutely. 8 News starts now with your Storm Tracker 8 forecast first. Hello, friends. Storm Tracker 8 Chief Meteorologist John Bernier. We're Live with the news where you live. 8 News at 6 starts now. A family is left devastated tonight after their father was shot and killed. 8 News starts now with your Storm Tracker 8 forecast first. Hello everyone, Storm Tracker 8 Chief Meteorologist John Bernier. Very pleasant outside this evening and tomorrow we got a great start to your Friday. Tonight on 8 News at 11, a mass shooting in Philadelphia leaves three people dead and 11 others hurt. The scary part is that um, when she left, I feel like half of me left with her. Now, two suspects have been arrested in Central Virginia. What their future holds as they wait to be extradited back to Pennsylvania. The first hearings from the January 6th committee are broadcast in prime time. What we learned tonight from witnesses who were at the Capitol as it fell under attack. Young children could soon be vaccinated against COVID-19. Where health leaders stand as they get ready to discuss approval. Today's top stories and your Storm Tracker 8 forecast in the first eight minutes. 8 News starts now. Two men wanted for a mass shooting in Philadelphia have been arrested in Henrico. Thanks for joining us for 8 News at 11. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. Police now believe all suspects in this shooting have been taken into custody. 8 News starts now with breaking news. Breaking news tonight from Maryland, where there are reports of a mass shooting in Smithsburg. You're watching 8 News at 6. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. Police confirmed three people are dead and four others injured. You're watching WRIC TV 8.